Hey guys, got a slightly different video for you today. Uh, my wife and I went tent camping a couple weekends ago, and um, we used to own a camper, owned a camper for years, and I always had like a camping box, and decided to replace the box with this tub, and it's made by Hefty, and the tub is almost two feet wide. It's like 16, 17 inches deep and then like 16, 17 inches tall. And what I like about it is that it's clear and you can kind of get an idea of where everything is at just by spinning the box around. And, and so you kind of know when you're digging for something kind of where it's at. But what I thought we'd do is kind of go through and I'll show you some of the stuff that, that I like to take camping with me. Um, you could also use these same type boxes for like a, a lights out kit or a power outage box because it's kind of the same stuff that, that goes in each thing. Um, and then besides this, I obviously had to take tarps and tents. We took some of those pop-up canopies. Um, I have a tool bag, some other stuff, but I figured we'd just kind of mostly go over what, what's kind of in the box here. And I'm also going to be replacing a couple things that were in the box, uh, and I thought I'd show those to you. Another nice thing about these particular totes is that they are stackable, and they are very rigid. They're very solid tubs. All right, so we have like these locking tabs here on the sides, and then that lid pops off. And first thing you see is a big, thick tablecloth. Um, most of the state parks here in Ohio have really old weathered wood for their picnic tables. And it's always nice having a tablecloth. And you'll see some of the reasons why here in a bit. Uh, some of the games that we play and stuff like that. It's nice having that. So that's item one. Um, I always take a surge protector. Uh, it doesn't really have to be a surge protector. But uh, if you are tent camping, there is a chance of getting some rain inside of your tent depending on how hard it rains and um but it's some type of multi-strip uh just to plug in phones and fans and we had to take heaters this last time we got down to like below 40 each night so uh multi-strip this is just uh some bags uh not necessarily trash bags but you could use them as trash bags if you want and this is just kind of random. We just basically had to throw everything back in here. So that I'm going to kind of organize this now that I'm bringing it back out. But Ziploc baggies, um, always good for either leftover foods or, um, you know, whatever you want to throw in there. But it's good having them. This is a little inflatable lantern. It's a solar powered lantern. Uh, this thing is actually very bright. It works really well. Um, multiple brightness levels. And it does have like a flashing mode as well, but yeah, I highly recommend this little thing. This is great for power outages, great for camp. We just like hang it up in a tree, kind of illuminate the campsite. Um, this is just one of many fire starter kit type things that I have. It's got matches. It's got some of the fast fire starters there, some decorative stuff you can throw into a fire. Um, I have always at least four or five ways of lighting fires whenever we get there. And I have another tub that's full of firewood that I take. And in that one, it's got like dryer lint. It's got like Vaseline cotton balls, uh, multiple lighters in that, uh, multiple more of these types of fire starters. Um, this little thing here is a thermocell for mosquitoes. And there's probably a can of fuel in here somewhere. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these ones. I forget the exact model. If I find it, I'll link it down below. But it's really nice. Uh, you can basically attach this to like a isobutane type thing. And it takes these little cartridges up here. Um, but these things work really well. I think I paid like, I don't know, maybe around 30 bucks or something like that for it. Um, and then these little refills, I think are maybe 10 or $12 for a, quite a few of them. In this Fila bag, I have some camping lights. There's a couple strands of those. And then I leave the little binder clips on there. It makes it real easy to hang them up. Uh, but that's what's in there. I also take a like probably at least five or six extension cords. So I have a bag 
almost like a gym bag or a duffel bag that's just full of extension cords. Uh, down there is the big can. That is for that thermocell that I showed a few minutes ago. Uh, this here is actually, we have a dog. We've had him for like 14 and a half years. And this is usually like an extra bowl that I'll take for him for either water or food. Uh, I always keep some gloves in here. Um, and then this glove here is for working around the fire. If you have to move like the grate that you're cooking on, um, or even like if you have tongs uh, and you know, you're right over top flipping food and stuff like that. What's this called? The pit mitt. But it basically prevents your hand from getting burnt. Uh, I got this little lantern type thing here. I think I did a review on this a couple years ago. It can be a flashlight. And then you can basically undo this thing. And it actually works pretty well. It sounds kind of cheap and stuff. But it, it does work well. Uh, so it's just a nice little lantern to have like on tables and stuff like that next to you. And it has different brightness levels. And it has a red. But... That's just a little lantern we take. I got another little light here. I don't know if I've ever shown this or not. I've had this for a few years, but it has multiple brightness levels. And what's cool about this one is that it has all these different stands and it's got a magnet. You can hang it different ways. It's got hooks on it. Um, just all kinds of neat little stuff with this one. And I have another lantern over here. Uh, this was a stream light. I probably did a video on this a few years ago. Uh, this is the Siege X. It's a cool little lantern. I really like this one a lot, uh, but you can hang it this way. It's got this little hook at the bottom here, like this carabiner hook. You can hang it up like that. And it's decently bright and, uh, it has a flashlight on it as well. Uh, so I usually take at least, so I have those three plus that, uh, lantern, Right there, so I always have at least four types of lanterns or lights there. Plus I carry a bunch of flashlights on me as well. And I have multiple lights and headlamps in the car at all times. Uh, got some bowls down in here, just a stack of them. Uh, some aluminum foil. So obviously that can go to save food or to put over um, the cooking grate or anything like that. You guys know what you can use aluminum foil for. Uh, I just bought some of these, but we actually didn't use them. I cooked hot dogs and bratwurst and stuff, but it was over the cooking grate. But these are like those hot dog or like marshmallow forks, and they extend out to, I don't know, about three feet long. So I bought some of these a while back. Uh, they're called orange screws, even though I bought the black ones. Um, I highly recommend these. So we've actually been at the campground during tornadoes before and have lost awnings, have lost like the canopies that you put over your picnic tables and stuff like that. And these anchors here are unbelievable. They're so easy to put into the ground, but once you screw them in, uh, they are so secure. I think I paid maybe 30 or $35 for the set of four. And it comes with this plastic thing here that you insert through this to basically help twist them down into the ground. But it only takes like 15 or 20 seconds at the most to, to put these in. So what I'll do now is I'll put our canopy up. I'll screw like one of these on one corner and one on the opposite corner. And then I'll take uh, like cam buckle straps and basically go down through the eye here and then around like one of the things at the top of the canopy and your canopy will not budge. So I always keep a couple, actually I have four of these I keep two in the Jeep at all the time. And so we put one of, we put a canopy over top of our tent and then a canopy over top of uh, the picnic table. So I'll always have four of these in there. So I've kept a hatchet in my camping box for years and years and years. And this is one of the things I'm gonna be replacing. I actually have it pretty sharp. I use like a hand file and um, I bought firewood this past time at the lake and it was split, but it was not split near enough to like really get a good fire at it. So I had to split it with this thing there and I had to take another hammer and basically try to hit it through and kind of did a number on it. So I'm going to be replacing it with this Fiskars, which I've had this for years. 
It's a Gerber, but it's actually a, it's made by Fiskars. Uh, I don't remember the model number on it. This thing is unbelievable. Um, I use it a lot around the house, so I don't keep it in my camping box usually. Um, but I'm going to keep this like basically toward the top so I know where it's at. I can get to it quickly. Uh, I really like this one a lot. All right. So this bag, just some bug spray. Um, even though I use the, the thermocell, uh, the thermocell works for about 15 to 20 feet. Uh, imagine like a 20 foot circle. As long as you're sitting inside that circle, you're pretty well protected. But if you're just walking around the campsite or the campgrounds or anything like that, put some of that on you. Uh, just some forks, I think. Yeah, so just a thing of forks. These here are a bunch of the clips that hold your picnic tables, uh, the tablecloths. And then if you put any of the seat cloths, which we usually don't use those, but uh, that's what's good for holding that down so that way your tablecloth doesn't blow all the way. Just some tissues, box tissues. Uh, these are a couple towels. I got some free towels. We went to a football game last year, Thanksgiving, and these were towels they were giving out, so I just threw them in the camping box. Uh, some zip ties. You always need zip ties around camp. And then my tool bag, which I'll briefly show in a minute. I've got a whole bunch more in there too, but always good to have them. Uh, another lighter. Again, I had a bunch in that uh, fire starting bag thing. There was lighters in there and matches. So I got kitchen bags, uh, trash bags. Another thing of fire starters. Again, these things are nice. You just throw the entire thing in there and you just light the wrapper. And then that lights up real fast and easy. Oh, yeah, I got another headlamp in here. I never showed this on any videos or anything like that. Um, it's actually a really super bright headlamp and it uses like an 18650 battery. Uh, it's, it's from some company called like Win, Win Esker or something like that. Uh, it's just some off brand, but this thing works really well. All right, getting down here toward the bottom. I take a domino set. I actually enjoy playing dominoes. Um, and I just kind of started getting my wife playing it too, but I like that. And that tablecloth is really nice when you have to slide these and when you're mixing them up and doing all the different things uh, because those tables are so rough. Uh, so that's in there. Looks like I got another thing in trash bags. I actually didn't know I had two boxes in there, but you always need trash bags. Uh, some fly swatters. A couple of those in there. Just some tongs i showed forks earlier got some spoons in there um some more of those binder clips again you can use those for hanging you know swim trunks up on lines and stuff like that and i got a couple like screws and thumbtacks and just a little dumb stuff a lot of the stuff has been in here for 10 or 15 years but it still gets used uh, i got another Another long lighter. So I think I've got at least five different lighters in their total. Um, deck of cards. Again, we play cards a lot around the picnic table. Uh, just a couple of these little, like three to two prong type things, and then a, a multi, you know, outlet extender type thing. And now that I'm looking, I see another one of those. Probably don't need two of them in there, but again, they don't really take up any space. And this is just another little bag of bags with some trash bags and some grocery bags and stuff. Um, it's always good to have a bunch of bags. A couple pot holders, and obviously some tape stuck to it, but uh, pot holders are good if you do have to pull something off of the fire and then you need to like set it on a, the picnic table or something like that. I don't want to burn through the tablecloth that I put down. It's also good for like, if I didn't have the glove, you could grab onto your tongs and, you know, move the food around like that. And so just some old pot holders or whatever. Um, like I just showed, I got a couple things of tape. Probably should put these in a bag so that they're not sticking on stuff. So an empty Ziploc here, we'll throw those in there. That'll work. Um, Almost finished with this tub. Got some Uno. 
family likes playing Uno. So obviously just another game to kind of pass the time. We do a lot of, I do a lot of fishing. Uh, my wife does a lot of reading uh, when we're out there, but we do play a lot of games and stuff together. Uh, these here are actually a couple of, like hair ties, and I will typically keep them around these cam buckles. Uh, it was pouring when we left last time, so I actually just threw these all into the tub. Um, but the couple that I keep in the car, I need to go probably put these on, but I just usually will wrap it around there like that to keep it all together. Uh, down here, a uh, kind of large fixed blade knife, full tang. I think I did a video on this, I don't know, months ago. It's a really heavy duty knife, but it's actually very sharp. Um, good for processing firewood with that full tang. You can actually hit on it. Um, just good, just a good all around camp knife. Uh, down here, I keep some of those little like glow sticks. Um, these are actually good if you are running like extension cords or anything like that, especially if they're green um, and you know, obviously they're, they're dark and the ground is dark. Um, I like to put one of these like somewhere along the way. I just like, I just lay it on the ground kind of next to that. Uh, that way nobody's tripping on it, walking back to, you know, across the camp or anything like that. But just some of these glow sticks. I get these after the 4th of July and you can get them for like a dime for a pack at Walmart. So they're nice to have. I have probably like 30 packs of these things. They're also good during power outages. You can just throw them around your house. All right, down here. Another type of fire starter. Uh, this one I think was a Bear Grills one. Maybe I think, yeah, it is. And I bought this at Walmart, I think, several years ago. But it's just a, a striker here. And I don't know if this one has a whistle on it or not. It doesn't really matter. I don't really use it for that. I just use it for striking a fire if I need to get one going. And the last couple things in here. Some fishing line. I usually don't use this for fishing. I use it for uh, securing things around the campsite. Uh, we used to do a lot of camping during Halloween. And so like hanging skeletons and hanging spider webs and stuff like that. Fishing line works great for that. It's inexpensive and you get, you know, several hundred feet of it or whatever. So I always keep fishing line in there. And then I always keep this little tub thing here of cordage or rope. And this is something I'm going to be replacing as well. Just like that hatchet or ax. Um, I don't really like the cord that's in here, it's real fibrous. And if it gets wet, it's, it kind of makes a mess of everything. Um, and I have a whole bunch of extra paracord. And I think I can fit like three times the length of paracord in here. Like this is, I think probably about 75 feet or a hundred feet. And I think I can fit all of this in this thing instead of like the 30 feet of this that I have. So, Paracord's going to be going in here instead. This is a little tool bag that I take. I probably keep at least, I don't even know, like 20 or 30 tent stakes in here. Um, I don't ever use any of the stakes that come with any of the equipment, whether they're canopies or tents or anything. I always buy extras and, and take these big long ones to hammer in. Again, after losing equipment during storms and stuff, you, you kind of always just take better stuff. Um, I take hammers, screwdrivers, um, a whole bunch more rope in here, vice grips, uh, sockets, ratchets. I got tape measures, got ratchet straps, um, more zip ties, more tape, wrenches. Um, I used to keep a level because we'd have to level out our camper and stuff, but, uh, more wrenches. There's just all kinds of stuff down in there. So what I recommend is if you can afford it is buy yourself a big tub and then buy stuff that's basically just dedicated for your camping trips. Um, it just makes things so much easier and faster on you just to be able to grab one tub that already has everything in it that you're going to need uh, for your camping trip instead of spending the hours trying to gather up all of the items, I, you know, I basically just keep everything in here at all time.
you know, over the years on my channel, I have shown multiple gadgets and items that are used for like preparedness or natural disasters. I've shown alternative ways to like cook food, to have lights during power outages and stuff like that. Um, and I think there's like a camping kit just goes really well with that kind of stuff. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to share some of the stuff that we take along with us on our camping trips. So if you have stuck around and watched me babble about this stuff, I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching.